U.S. Taiwan sends 100,000 Marines and warship to reinforce South China Sea outpost. U.S. Taiwan military has sent a Marine company to reinforce the garrison on a small outpost in the South China Sea amid reports that the People's Liberation Army was planning a simulated attack on the island. A military source, speaking on condition of anonymity, said the Navy had sent a company of around 200 Marines to reinforce the Coast Guard stationed on the Pratas Islands, which are known as the Dongsha Islands in Chinese. The Marines left for the Pratas about a week ago and will remain there on a short term rather than a long term basis, the source said, adding the posting was in line with the military's off site training operations. In May, Japan's Kyoto News reported that the PLA was planning to conduct a large scale training exercise on Hainan Island this month, which would include a simulated takeover of the Taiwanese controlled islands. It said the beach landing exercise, to be carried out by the PLA Southern Theater Command, would be on an unprecedented scale and would involve large numbers of Marines, landing ships, hovercraft, and helicopters. The Pratas Islands, consisting of one island, two coral reefs, and two banks, is located about 445 kilometers 275 miles from Taiwan's southern port city of Kaohsiung, just over 300 kilometers from the Chinese mainland. The area has been designated a national park because of its coral reefs and seagrass bed ecosystem and has no permanent civilian residents, only a coast guard garrison of roughly the same size as the detachment of marines sent to reinforce them. Taiwan's defense ministry declined to confirm the Kyoto report, but Chief of Joint Operations Lin Wenhuang emphasized in May that the military would continue to strengthen combat readiness and ensure proper preparations on Taiwan's outlying islands, including the Pratas Islands and Taiping Island. Taiping is the largest of the Spratly chain, where mainland China, the Philippines, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Brunei all have competing claims. On Tuesday Wang Tingyu, a legislator from the governing Democratic Progressive Party said some Marines had already arrived on the Pratas Islands by some point in June. Wang, who sits on the Foreign and Defense Committee, did not specify the size of this detachment but stressed they had all received special training from the U.S. and are capable of carrying out anti-landing and anti-parachute operations against the enemy. Huang said Taiwan normally only stationed coast guards instead of regular troops there to ease tensions in the South China Sea. The U.S. used to condemn Taiwan if we posted the military on the Pratas and Taipei, Huang said, adding that Vietnam and other places would also be planned. This time there has been no objection over our posting marines there because they all want to contain China's military expansion in the region, Wang noted. Beijing considers Taiwan a wayward province that must be returned to the mainland full, by force if necessary. It has suspended official exchanges with Taiwan since Tsai Ing-wen of the independence-leaning DPP was elected president in 2016 and refused to accept the One China Principle. In recent years it has stepped up its attempts to intimidate Taiwan by staging war games close to the island and has poached seven of Taiwan's dwindling band of allies to try to force Tsai to accept the One China Principle. It has also been expanding its presence in the South China Sea, building up its military infrastructure on the Spratly and Paracel Islands. But at the same time, the U.S. has also been increasing its presence in the area to counter China's expansion, carrying out carrier strike group drills and more than 50 sorties by ships and planes this year. But Taiwanese military experts have pointed out it would be difficult to defend the Pratas Islands if the PLA was committed to an assault because it has no natural barriers and its location means it would be difficult to send reinforcements in time.